What's up everyone, Jared here with carbuzz.com and today I'm going to be reacting to a new video from Infinity, the automaker Infinity, that shows their bold plans from now until the year 2030. There's some interesting stuff in here, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hit play and see what's up. Infinity is a brand centered around the human experience. Human experience. It was born to challenge conventions. A brand built to deliver a unique take on modern Japanese luxury. Okay, I'm already stopping it. It's it's one of those promotional videos, so you know they have to be all fancy. Like Infinity was designed with the utmost, you know, they have to be all fancy about it. But I'm just wondering, like, let me know in the comments, like, what you think of the brand Infinity. I really want to know this because everybody is somewhat different. My mom seems to still love Infinity even though they haven't made anything like crazy nice. I was a huge fan of Infinity growing up with things like the G35 and G37, but I haven't been that into their products lately. So I just want you to let me know what you think of the brand in the comments. Customers around the world. QX55. Infinity shall continue to put human experiences at the very center of everything we do always seeking the perfect harmony between technology and natural beauty. Natural beauty. Yeah. Never leaving behind the thoughtful hospitality that has been a hallmark of our brand. Some that leather shells. Bringing to life the Japanese minimalism in our exterior designs while also surround... Okay, that looks nice. All right, they're, you know, infinity for all the stuff they do that I make that I don't like. You know, they have some pretty good designs. I'd say that picture right there, the autograph interior, that's the new QX60. That looks really nice with the quilted leather. I'll give them that. That looks really nice. With exquisite luxury. Yeah, that looks really nice. And while the majority of Infinity... Oh, all right. So this is the first part that's interesting here. This is a new concept car from Infinity. So they're teasing an electric car. So this is probably going to come by 2030, whatever that means. So this is the first we've seen of the electric car. It has, I don't know if that's a glass roof in the back. It's a really pretty silhouette, actually. It's kind of cool. All the C pillar, uh, the B pillar is kind of deleted. That looks kind of cool. Okay, so now we have a better image of it from the front. <laughs> I don't love it as much from the front, um, but it's pretty cool looking. I, it's hard to tell if that's a sedan or an SUV. Ooh, that's really cool. Okay, so it has some really cool styling. I love how the roof kind of looks like it's floating there because obviously the B pillar is all blacked out. So that looks really cool. We see that it doesn't have side mirrors. Can't do that on a production car. That's just a concept thing. Oh, so that's a new concept. All right, so this is different from the car we just saw because you can tell the front's different. Ooh. Okay, so that's really nice with the lights. So you see we have the tail lights here. I can back it up a little bit. The first concept. Will be electrified. We will not let the size of our battery alone define us. Okay, so it has a light up infinity grill. That looks really cool. I love how the headlights kind of extend like that. And if you were listening to what they said, they said we won't let the size of our battery define us or whatever. Okay, but this, these are definitely electric cars. That first one looked a little bit like some concept we've seen from infinity before. I've not seen this one, this black silhouette before. I've never seen this one before. So this is probably a brand new design from them. The power source that fits their lifestyle. Power sorts that fits their lifestyle. So that's interesting. So Infinity, if you don't know, has this really cool technology, or Nissan does rather, the parent company called e-power. It's kind of similar to a Chevy Volt. You have an engine under the hood, you put gas in it, and it uses that gasoline to charge the batteries. So theoretically, you just keep putting gasoline in it and you never have to charge it. I think that concept, would work, it would work really well in the US where people just don't want to sit and charge, but Nissan has not given us a single model with that technology here. So I'm wondering if this teaser is kind of hinting at maybe these electric cars from Infinity won't be purely electric. That seems to be what I'm getting on. created to support and never overpower. Seamless, integrated, and intuitive. Okay, so these are all current it's infinities. Japanese heritage. Woodworking. Hospitality comes first and second. QX60. Delivering the total ownership experience. QX55. Only infinity can. Only infinity can deliver that. It, you never heard of Lexus. You never heard of Acura. Like, okay. <laughs> Okay, that, this I think is the same concept we just saw with the cool lights and the cool silhouettes. I don't think this is, yeah, it's the same one. 
But that's cool with the Infinity logo. Good animators. A future that elevates and celebrates all those who dare to be different. All right, this is all up. Oh, wait a minute. All right, so this is that car. I think that's the one we saw. Oh, there's three. Okay, so there's three. Ooh, all right. Okay, so this is the image. So I think that one in the middle, that looks like, I don't even know, is that the one we saw? The one on the right is definitely the one we saw in the middle of the video. That one in the middle might be the one we saw first, and then this one on the left, that's completely new. So that means they're gonna be doing what looks like an electric crossover. That might be like a Cooper sedan, and then this one's like maybe a bigger sedan. So this is really interesting. This shows that Infinity has plans for at least three upcoming electric cars. I think that first one we saw, the white one, could be like a Q50 replacement. That car is getting kind of old now. Um, this one in the middle might be like a smaller, almost like a coupe, and then that one's definitely an electric crossover. So really interesting things happening from Infinity to here. Infinity Ambition 2030. Infinity Ambition. I feel like they could have gone with something with like Infinity and Beyond, but maybe they would have been sued by Disney there. So yeah, that was the reaction video. Um, I guess I'm kind of interested in what Infinity has coming out because they've been so behind on making anything electrified. We've got a lot of aging models in their lineup net right now. The QX60 looks okay. It's basically the new Pathfinder. The QX55 was basically the QX50, but like a coupe version. So I think this definitely has some reason to be exciting, but we are only in 2021. So these are the next nine years. So it might be a while before we actually see one of these. I actually did a story a number of years ago. There was an Infinity dealer that wanted to keep one of their most loyal customers, but he wanted an electric car. So they actually went to Tesla, bought him a Model 3, and then delivered it at the Infinity dealership. And I kind of read that and I was like, Ah, that's a little bit sad because they know they just don't have any electric products coming. With this, I think maybe Infinity can spark some joy in their customers, maybe get people excited, but people have lease deals that they want to give up right now. So if Infinity can't get these cars out quickly, they might lose those customers. Anyway, those are my reactions on Infinity's bold plans for 2030. Are you excited? Let me know in the comments which one of those three electric models looks the most exciting. And again, let me know what you currently think of the Infinity brand. I'll see you next time.